Hey y'all, it is Chelsea of Knitting Tipsy and I am here at Cocoa Beach today to bring you another episode of my series, Show Us Your Knits, where I get to play show and tell and show you some of the cool shit that I made. So let's dive in. But first you have to see this. We're here for sunrise and it's just stunning per usual. I love Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach gets a bad rap sometimes. Um, I know, especially if you're a Floridian, people are like, oh, Cocoa is your favorite? Not everybody, not everybody's snooty like that. But Cocoa is my favorite beach. It's the closest beach to me. It's about 45 minutes from my house. So I often drive here for sunrise and especially the little part that I come to, there's not a lot of people at. It's super quiet, it's beautiful. I love it here. Anyways, so this episode of Show Us Your Knits, I am very excited about. This was a project that was on my needles for, probably should have looked this up beforehand. I think it was going on three years. I don't think we hit the three year mark, but I think we had crossed over the two year point. Um, I'll have to double check that. In my video editing, I will double check that. Maybe it was one going into two, but I really think it was over two years. Um, I worked on it, consistently is not the right word, but um, it was a project that I often reached for. This was my self-care whip. Um, sometimes I would only work a row or two a month, and that's okay. There was no timeline for this project. Um, it is a shawl. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. But I tend to always have a knit shawl on my needles because that's my anxiety project, that's my depression project. Um, something that I can really zone out and get into that meditation zone with the needles. So without further ado and hyping it up, this is my faded morning shawl by the beautiful Lindsay, the Chesapeake needle. I saw Lindsay with this design quite literally years ago. Um, and I just, I thought it was so beautiful. So um, I knew I wanted to make a beachy version. The yarn that I have used is my favorite colorway of all time. This color is, and I feel like you're getting like the sunrise glow to it. Here, let's pop in a picture because it's quite bright. This colorway is Oogie Boogie by The Little Wolf Knits. It is my favorite colorway of all time. And the second color that I use, this is Dobby is a Free Elf. And if you look, it has little pops of the chartreuse that make up the Oogie Boogie. So it was a no brainer that these two needed to go together for me. Um, clearly I'm obsessed with it, but <laughs> I thought, when did I find off? I think last month, I think I did it in Feb. I may have bound off in January, but didn't block until February. I think that's what happened. But um, it has, what makes it so nice, I think, to work on for your mental health is the garter stitch um, rows and you get to do a fade. So it kind of, you know, you're switching colors every couple rows. A uh, little bit of lace work going down the front and then you do get into some diamond lace sections but the repeats are easy enough that they they keep you focused but it's not something you have to keep referring back to a piece of paper like you can do the repeat a couple times and then work through the rest of the row on that shawl so it both held my attention and then certain parts of the project allowed me to zone out this was really great for Netflixing, this was great for, I know I worked on it several years, standing in line at Disney, <coughs> whenever I'd be in the garter stitch rows. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of memories in this shawl. Some of them sad, but I think the fact that I was able to knit through those emotions and to sit with them and to feel like I was doing something for myself and caring for myself I think that's what a self-care whip is all about. So very obsessed with the pattern. It was really well written and easy to follow. Freaking obsessed with the yarn. It's just gorgeous. 
I did want to show y'all. So I make a lot of shawls, which you might be thinking in Florida, but lightweight, fingering weight, sport weight shawls are perfect for those breezy, breezy afternoons or breezy evenings um, under the palm trees when you don't really need a jacket, just a little something. They're also great for taking to the beach. Merino, I could go off on a whole tangent about how fabulous Merino is in hot weather. It wicks moisture away. It's antimicrobial, so it doesn't smell if your sweat gets into it. Um, it's an amazing, amazing fiber, but I do make a lot of my shawls in that and then I wear them as sarongs. So I'm gonna pop in another picture. Maybe I'll pop in a few and show you how you can wear shawls as sarongs. We'll see what my video, maybe I'll just be standing like this. But I love wearing my shawls as bikini cover-ups and as sarongs. So that's my number one way to wear them. Um, let me pop in another picture that I got today. I think this shawl is perfect for a cooler beach morning. It was about 68 degrees Fahrenheit whenever we got here. Not super windy, but it was just, you know, I'm in my t-shirt, I was a little bit like, ooh, brisk. But with the shawl, I felt great, so. There's that. Um, but I found another way. I need a prop. Hang on. Will I find it? That'll work. So I think ideally you would do this with a shawl pin. But there's so many ways to wear a scarf. And um, I do think I'm going to be doing a video on different ways to style a scarf, especially if you, or shawl, especially if you live in warmer weather. But Check this out. <laughs> this is really fun. I'm glad that we get to experience this together. Okay. So, let me make that a little tight. Loosen it. One of the things I think is so pretty about this shawl is that lace work going down the front. Cool. I think if you clip that there, yeah, like how freaking cute does this look with that lace work down the front? I would honestly under like with a little crop top underneath or a bralette, like I would wear this as my top. I, I feel like it's super cute. <laughs> it kind of has like, I don't know, like maybe a like with the design going down, I don't know. But it's really pretty, so I would totally wear this as like a little, maybe I'll get a shawl pin because my hair clippy does work, but could be could be better. Um, maybe I'll get some pictures. I may not get pictures, but if I do, I'll pop one in here with this in my, my outfit today because I think it looked really cute together. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Anyways. So this is yet another way to wear it. Um, shawls also work great, you know, just to, if you don't have a towel at the beach, you can just pop it down. And so many people pop into my DMs and in my comments whenever I am knitting at the beach, especially if I'm using wool, and they're like, oh my God, the sand. Y'all, it brushes out, <laughs> it's okay. Especially if you're gonna block it anyways, if it's a whip, you're gonna like put it in, soak it's totally fine i'm at the dog beach look how cute i don't know if y'all can see the little puppies playing anyways um yeah you're gonna put it in soak anyways and you can brush it out i also don't mind if there's a little bit of sand in my whips because it's just that extra magical oceany sparkle and sand does not bother I'm, I'm sitting in the sand right now so it does not bother me i think it's has a little bit of ocean magic attached to it. Getting all kinds of fun looks as people are walking by. <laughs> Anyways, so um, wear your handmaids to the beach. It's great. Um, another handmaid that I'm wearing right now, which I don't know when this video comes out, if I've shown or not, but this is my Shell Yeah Tankini. I'm writing up the pattern as we speak because I'm making one for my mommy for her birthday and what better way than to work on the pattern as I'm writing it up. And I will have a tester call out for this soon. 
Uh, I did use bikini yarn for this. I know we're going off on a tangent right now and not actually talking about the finished object. <laughs> but I did use bikini yarn, so this is going to be an appropriate swimsuit to wear in the ocean or the pool if you want to use that same yarn. Okay, enough about that. Chatting up my business. Um, yeah, you need this pattern. If you are a knitter and you like to make shawls, this is a good one. It's very simple, the lace work. The stitches were not challenging. The, I think there's a center. Oh, what is that? A center decrease, center double decrease? That's the only one I had to look up and I've done it before. I just couldn't quite remember the stitch. So I, I probably looked it up over the last two to three years several times. Cause I'm always like, oh shit, what was that one again? But other than that, it's knit two together, slip, slip, knit, yarn overs. That's pretty much it. Um, so a nice adventurous beginner um, shawl if you're looking for something fun to do. And this was my one of my first times fading a yarn. And I've since used Lindsay's technique here for fading in um, some other projects that I've made. If you have seen my Cinnabar sweater, which um, I did do a show us your knits about, I'll pop in a picture here, also made with Oogie Boogie. The fade that I used, I followed the same um, instructions here for Lindsay's fade, because I'd never done a fade myself, just for shits and giggles, so. Did, this pattern has served me well. The Faded Morning Shawl by Lindsay of the Chesapeake Needle. All right, y'all. Well, I already talked about my swimsuit. That's coming up soon. Um, this one is crochet. I have another knit design that will be coming out soon. It is my hip dip slip dress. And I'm hoping to have tester calls for both of these within the next month. I've never run two tests together at the same time, but I think we're gonna try it. I think I'm gonna have a crochet test and a knit test going. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching this kind of hectic video. I'm gonna show y'all the sunrise. Well, sun's well risen, but one more time, because it's just so good. In case you need a little ocean therapy today. And please make sure that you like this video, that you share it. Um, I will have some information if you wanna purchase the pattern or anything else in the description below. But have a wonderful week, y'all, and I'll see you next time.